Operant conditioning is a method of learning that occurs through the process of reinforcing and punishing behavior. Through operant conditioning, an association is made between a behavior and a consequence for that behavior. Reinforced behaviors are likely to happen again in the future. Punished behaviors are less likely to happen again in the future. We have two ways of reinforcing behaviors and two ways to punish behaviors. Here are examples from each of the four areas. Positive reinforcement. The addition of a pleasant stimulus to a behavior equation. You get a paycheck for going to work, then you'll most likely return to work next week. A dog does something we like, we give it a reward. The dog is more likely to repeat that behavior in the future. Negative reinforcement. The subtraction of an unpleasant stimulus from a behavior equation. We get in our car and the first sound we hear is the seatbelt warning sound. The sound continues until we put on our seatbelt. For a dog, continuous pressure until a behavior is accomplished. And then we remove the pressure, pull up on the dog's collar until the dog sits. This type of training is also called escape training. Positive punishment is the addition of an adversive to the behavior equation. Remember, there is nothing positive about positive punishment. A kid gets a spanking for a bad behavior. A dog gets into the trash and gets a rolled up newspaper to the side of the head. This type of training is often called avoidance training. Negative punishment. The subtraction of a pleasant stimulus from a behavior equation. A child does something you don't like, so you take away his games or his toys. You might use a timeout. For a dog, withholding a reward for a bad behavior, like not following through on a command. With highly motivated dogs, the most effective training uses positive reinforcement and negative punishment. Dogs with low or no motivation, the most effective training techniques involve the use of negative reinforcement and positive punishment. Our philosophy at Dunlap Training Solutions is to use positive reinforcement and negative punishment as our primary training tools. In order to effectively use the positive reinforcement and negative punishment, we need a motivated dog or need to create a motivated dog. To use a reward-based training system, you need to find rewards your dog will work for.